Chad Smith. Uh, we're from Hemlock, Michigan. The name of the company is C&J Bar Callers Incorporated. Um, we haul mulch, we haul milk, we haul lumber products, just a little bit of everything. Uh, it started back in 1990. Uh, my dad owned it then, my mom and dad, and uh, we all us kids worked for them. And uh, since they've kind of semi-retired, and my brother and I and my little sister kind of took it over. Uh, the, my brother's name's Justin Smith, and my sister's Danielle. Um, and we've expanded since then. We had about 10 trucks when we when we bought it, and we're up to 42, three years now, four years. Wow, that's a quick. Uh quick bit of expansion is it all been with uh, company equipment or is it owner operators brand? uh we have two owner operators the rest is all company equipment we actually turn down more work than we, what we take at at this point i mean uh, if we could find the drivers we'd probably be have a lot more trucks here it's a peterbilt 389 glider uh just got it put together in september um it's got twenty seven thousand miles on it right now i i drive this myself there was a lot of people involved. Um, we did a quite a bit ourselves. Um, MBH Trucking in Weberville, Michigan. They did the motor and transmission and um, things like that. Um, for the most part, we kind of worked with them. Um, Caterpillar overhauled the motor. It's a 6NZ Cat 550, 13 speed. It's a 355. I see you're showing with uh, two, uh, is this a uh, famous Michigan doubles? Yeah, it's called a B train. These are a flatbed B train. This is what we use to haul our lumber products. Uh, we haul shingles, um, treated board, um, dry lumber, flooring. Yeah, it's an eight axle. We can gross out at 164 in Michigan. Yeah, it's a lot of weight, a lot of tires, a lot of maintenance. We have other uh, other trailers, I guess, for interstate work. Let's see, we have eight B train flatbeds like this, and then we have uh, seven A train dump trailers that we haul our mulch and gravel with. And then we have uh, some seven and eight axle uh, walking floors we haul mulch with. And uh, all our milk trailers are tandem axle milk trailers, and they run uh, run out of state. But uh, most of most of our business is all in state. You know, uh, no team drivers in the, in the. No, we don't have no team drivers. All single individual yeah. drivers. Um, What's the fleet uh, made up of in terms of the, the trucks that you guys are running? We run, um, we run some Peter belts. Uh, we run quite a lot of Freightliners now, um, just because of the Detroit motors. Um, they're really good, um, and we uh, we also have a couple Kenworths. Not all gliders, I would guess. Uh, I mean, uh, mo there's there's a quite a few. Probably half the fleet is glider. And, uh, I mean, what's the calculation there? Why why go with the gliders? Um, <clears throat> because we're we don't really uh, we don't really like the the Cummins motors with the DPF and everything on them. Um, we haven't had good luck nor fuel mileage with them. Um, also, the pack cars haven't been the best for us. Right. So we went to either a 60 series Detroit glider or the Cat gliders, and then uh, like I said, we went to Freightliner because of the DD 15s right. and 16s. They are they're, they're they seem to be the the good motors of the DPM.